Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Joseph here. We're back with another uh, Yuzu emulator test with uh, Yuzu Build 70. And let me guys, sh let me show you guys my settings. Um, limit speed percent off. Audio. I actually need to just dis disable this. Enable audio stretching. Uh, disc shader cache on. Asynchronous GPU emulation on. Force 30 FPS mode on. Uh, native resolution. And let me make sure this is okay. We're actually going to turn off docked mode and set it to the pro controller. Um, and we're going to test what's it called. We're going to test. Let's go into my USB drive. Let's scroll it down it to Fire Emblem Three Houses because the graphics. I talked about this once in one of my. Um, Yuzu and Ryu Jinx low end compatibility guides, um, where the graphics in a bunch of 3D games like Pokemon Sword, uh, Anima, Gate of Memories, Ukulele in the Pos Ukulele in the Impossible Lair, um, this game, and a couple others, uh, the graphics were completely messed up because of my GPU, which is uh, Intel. I don't really have a graphics card. I don't know if there's like I'm not really tech savvy when it comes to PC parts. Um, I'm not going to get, like, a huge PC for a while. I'm probably just going to get a laptop with a really good graphics card. Uh, obviously NVIDIA, because it's better for emulation, I know that. But, I don't really know if, is the GPU the graphics card? Because if that is true, then I don't have a graphics card or a GPU. But, it, I think it's Intel. I'm very confused. I'm not that smart with that. I'm smart with emulation when it comes to just testing games and knowing what's going on and keeping up to date with all of it, but I'm not good with, like, the PC side of things, so, like, honestly, if I could just have someone else make a PC for me, I would want it to be the exact same specs as BSOD Gaming, because his specs are, like, all around 100% good for emulation. Um... Like he has like the definitive specs for emulation as far as I as far as I know. Um and I'd really like to just like have his exact same PC set up. That would be fucking spectacular. But I don't, and I'm definitely gonna just get like a laptop with a better GPU um and a graphics card at first, and then eventually I'll like research all the things I need. And I'll probably build my own PC with a really good GPU graphics card. I don't really know. I just, I know I'm going to do it eventually. And I'm probably going to have someone help me with it. But I'm willing to spend, like, a lot of money on it. Because I want the best possible computer eventually. Fire up three houses. I'm going to turn on the volume. We're going to start. And we're going to continue. I literally just got past like, the little intro thing. I'm still in the prologue. Um, where I I did the part where you like make your like choose your gender and your character. I haven't gotten anywhere past that. I don't even know if the graphics are actually fixed or not in this game, but they're definitely fixed in Pokemon Sword. But Pokemon Sword in my most recent Pokemon Sword video, um, that I did were like the words graphics fixed were in the title um because i was just doing like a regular pokemon sword video like i assumed the graphics were still going to be broken but then all of a sudden it's fixed because the new update so i just kept recording but there's also this problem where you know when like the the pokemon like breaks through the gate at the beginning and you have to go find it in like the forest there's like a weird bug where it'll like it won't soft lock or freeze, but like you won't be able to progress because like you can't move, and but like the you can still hear the sound and like the care the your rival friend or whatever is like still moving his head and it just goes on forever. Um, so I couldn't progress past that. So that sucks. Um, but I've actually this is like the very first time I'm really testing this. Um, and as you can see, the graphics are fixed. 
Um, I did a video on this where the graphics were broken as well. So you can guys go check out that video and the comparison between these. Um, but we're gonna see, make sure it doesn't soft lock or anything. Cause that would suck. Cause I hear AMD, it like soft locks and crashes a lot. I'm not sure. I hope this isn't a tutorial. I don't really don't need the tutorial. I know how to play Fire Emblem. I beat the Game Boy Advance one. I beat the Sacred Stones. Um, I beat Awakening. And I think that's it. I, I got about halfway through the GameCube one. Uh, Path of Radiance. Alright. Dialogue. I just want to play the game. Because I'm excited that it finally has fixed graphics. I'm excited. Alright, let's move this girl. My girl right here. Let's move with her. To attack. And it still runs really freaking slow. But it's um, it's bearable because it's an RPG. Turn-based RPGs are easier to play when it's running slow. But it's still not fun. Yes, my boy! We get to watch the battle animation! Look at my girl! It's Joe! It's me! Girls can have the name Joe. Oh, god no, did it softlock or is it just compiling shaders? No, it's good. Yay. But it's running really slow. The graphics look pretty good, though. Okay. Okay. There we go. 13 damage. Is he gonna hit me back? No! Don't hit me back. 6 damage. I have been wounded. I want to hit him back. Let me get him back. Oh man, it's the end. Dang it. Did I get XP? Yeah, boy. Now I must move another character. B, close. Close. I changed the, the border art. Uh, the border color on Yuzu to this very pretty blue. Alright, gotta move this chick. Let's move her! Crap, I didn't click on her. Alright, click. Let's move her up. Up she goes! To attack this boy. This very sad boy, or soon to be sad boy. Attack him! See, I know how to play Fire Emblem. I know how to play Wargroove. Oh, dude, did I mention I beat Wargroove? I beat the PC version. It was fun. I want to get the Switch physical, because I didn't know there was a Switch physical of it. But I guess there is, and it's on Amazon, and it's 40 bucks, and I'm gonna get it eventually, because it's not at Best Buy, which sucks, but, you know, it's still cool. Whoa, she has an axe, she looks like a vampire. I gotta move another character. Let us move more characters. Why is there a heart right there? Player phase my face yo I think this guy right here is on the cover this blonde dude over here I think this guy's on the cover of the box art move him go this way yes move waiteth waiteth for the battle Yes, wait. There we go. Frick, no. No, don't unequip. Equip. No, I don't want items. That's why I was doing that. It's because I clicked on items. I want to click on wait. 
We must go this way. Click on this guy. Get out of here, menu. Let's move him right here. There we go. Cool. Ah, uh, wait. I'm not really talking about anything. It runs very slow. That's all you really need to know. For Fire Emblem Three Houses on this very long computer, and I will put my specs in the description so you guys can see that. Ally phase, that's new. I think. I don't remember this. Is it where my allies move? Except I have no allies, so it's a player phase. My phase has come! Oh shit, does this guy move on his own? Or does he not move? Cool. Alright, let's fucking kick some ass. Let us fucking kick some ass. Wait. Fuck. I did not mean to click on that. I meant to click on- Oh, God! Wait! Alright. This way. Quick on... Her is. Let's move her right here. Wait. Wait for my signal. Yes, in the forest, we can attack easy or, or whatever the fook. Move him. I want to use my bow and shoot fucking people. Wait. Alright. Now we can move this guy. It's 12.31 at my- in- where I live right now. It's 12.31 in the afternoon. Yes! Move! I don't want to talk. I want to wait. Enemy phase? Holy shit! It's the Enemafaz. What's happening? Are they going to attack me or what? Please attack me. I need to see the battle animations again because it's cool. Oh yeah, and Ryu Jinx, I mean not Ryu Jinx, uh, Astral Chain goes in game on this build. So I'd like to do a video where I talk in Ry of in Ryu Jinx of Astral Chain because Ryu Jinx sucks on this computer. Every game that goes in game like for like people with higher end specs doesn't go in game for me. Like, it just crashes, or it'll go to, like, the, lo the first loading screen, and then it'll crash immediately. Like, on high end, uh, River City Girls goes in-game. Um, Ori in the Blind Forest Definitive Edition goes in-game. Mega Man 11 goes in-game. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee go in-game. Pokemon Sword goes in-game, except it just crashes for me. Same thing with, um, Super Mario Odyssey. Um... Mario and Louis, I mean Mario and Sonic at the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. It all crashes for me. And it's stupid. Well anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this emulation test video. I'm gonna end I'm gonna cut this off here. Because why not? Um don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. My Twitter is in the description below, so you guys can go follow that. Um don't forget to check out some other playlists and videos on the channel. Um go check out the my older Fire Emblem Three Houses video so that you can compare the graphics and the brokenness or whatever between this video and that video. I don't remember which build I used, but it was a like probably like twenty builds ago. 
Um, but anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time in another emulation test video. Peace!